All right, well, we're back and uh, we got Alta here. She's uh, chief of uh, railroad security, chief of police here. And uh, we're gonna do the next portal. I just got finished cleaning it out and it's all sized up, ready to go. We'll put the adhesive on, push it up in there, make sure it's all nice and level. This one's setting up nicely. And we'll do the other uh, one, two, three portals. And then probably tomorrow morning, we'll come back and put the side sidings in on uh, each side of the portals. We'll show you how to do that. But uh, we'll get back to work. Hey, Alta, what do you think? Should we go? Should we go to work? Or do you want to go chase that little kid on a bicycle? Yeah, you better not. Okay, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. All right, we'll get to work. All right, let's go ahead and kind of uh, do a final check of the placement. We got our level. I don't know, but does this portal make my butt look fat when I bend over? I'm, I don't think it's very flattering. But we got the glue on there now. Line that back up. pretty good. We'll hold these in place. See how these look? They look good. All right. Now the, the two in the back, the fun ones.
In all transparency, uh, when I went in to get some um, landscape adhesive out of the garage, I snuck into the kitchen and made a pitcher of margaritas for the, the, the crew and myself and everybody. So cheers, we'll let that set up and then we'll start on the next one. Well, all right, we had a pretty good little uh, afternoon rainstorm. Uh, it was nice, kind of cooled everything down, uh, cut down the dust and so forth. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and get to work on the, uh, the last portal here. But uh, go ahead and just um, wanted to get a little update on some stuff. Uh, lately, uh, geez, I've been getting a, a lot of comments and so forth about the stylish wardrobe that I wear out working on the uh, the railroad. I've had offers from GQ to be on their cover and things like that. And uh, I did, and, and a lot of the a lot of us older folks have been, you know, emailing me and text me and and so forth. Going, where do you get these stylish clothes out here? And I just have to tell you, um, you know, these I found on Amazon. These are Charlie pants. Never heard of them before, but these things are actually sewn in, built into the into these shorts. They're quite comfortable. They got tons of pockets, and then they have these uh, little utility pockets on the outside. They're great. I can uh, when I'm out working on the track and I just need a couple of little wrenches and things like that. I don't have to carry around a toolbox. I got them right here or or a utility belt. So these things are pretty cool. And so for us older guys that want to look stylish while out working on our railroad. Maybe check these out. I don't know, but they work pretty good. All right, enough uh, on style on style points for the afternoon. Uh, let's get back to finishing this last uh, portal. Went ahead and stuffed uh, all the stuff into the, uh, the tunnel here to kind of keep them uh, in one place with the wind and rain and so forth. So we'll pull those out, glue this last one in, and uh, we'll be done for the evening. This one uh, we worked on a little bit last night to make sure it all fit. Uh, so we're basically there. <laughs> that was painful. Good thing I have my Charlie shorts on. So, we finished this up today. A little bit of rain. Got the uh, one, two, three, four, five portals in. This one over here is a bit of a mess. I'm not going to uh, bore you with that. Uh, it's kind of a tight spot. Got to drop off a big boulder and uh, the portal kind of broken too so I'm gonna have to fiddle with that one uh, a little bit more than what we need to cover on today on how we do the portals uh, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this so far I've had fun doing this and uh, tomorrow we'll get back out here and we'll put the uh, the tile on the on the insides of the tunnels and fix up the little fingers uh, some of them are broken and missing and but we'll get that all tightened up and these should end up looking relatively pretty good. So, uh, hey, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Hope this is fun and useful and uh, gives you some good ideas. As always, please um, send me your, your thoughts, your comments, your questions. Uh, we'd love to, uh, we love those. We love responding to them. And also please follow us on our YouTube channel. Again. I'm Holly McLean for Train Lee Tech TV, and we'll see you in the morning. Thank you. All right, well, good morning and welcome back. Uh, we've um, we let those portals set up uh, last night, so they uh, should be pretty well attached to the fronts of the tunnels. And now what we're gonna do is come back and kind of do the finishing touches, add the detail. Um, these, if you remember, we have these pieces left over from when we were putting them on the face of the uh, portals. So these will go now on the inside of the tunnel. And what we're doing here is just adding some depth and dimension to those openings. 
We got pretty much, I think, everything that we need here. We got our grinder, got our knee pads here, uh, a little straight edge in case we need to cut some more tile, uh, our adhesive, some gloves, Sharpie, utility knife, caulking gun. So let's uh, go out there and install the insides of, uh, of the stone tile on the, on the tunnel portals. All right, we're up here at the top at Tahoe Junction. And as you can see, these uh, tunnel portals have set up nicely. Uh, they all look nice and level. And we got uh, a good seal on these. They're nice and tight and solid. So the next step is to tile the inside of the tunnels. But before we do that, we got to go ahead and do our daily fashion segment. Back to you, Holly. Well, hello. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about fashion in the garden and when you're working on your railroad. Now, this today I'm wearing is a lovely um, Carhartt set of uh, bib overalls. They work quite nice. And one of the first things that they say is they say, just say no to crack, all right? Now, if you're a plumber, it's okay to have butt crack when you're bending over in someone's kitchen working on their sink. But when you're out here on the railroad, and in the gardens, you shouldn't disrespect, disrespect that beautiful work that you're doing by flashing everybody some butt crack. So the nice thing about these other overalls is it's virtually impossible for that to happen. The other cool thing though about these overalls is that they have the ability to put in knee pads. They just slide in right in here in this pocket got them on both knees and they work great for when you're crawling around on the rocks and gravel and so forth uh, doing work or maintenance on your railroad so that's today's fashion tip for everybody out there working on your garden railroad and now back to the show all right well I hope you enjoyed our little fashion segment now let's get back to work Now we want to bring these down just to below grade level, maybe one or two courses at the most. And we take these and we get kind of a little, little size here. It looks like they should maybe about right here. Right here, the J. 
joint. Right up next to those little fingers. And we're gonna come on here. And I want to put a, just a little dot on each near each one of these fingers here. in and just make sure that these fingers match up flush with this front and we'll come back after it sets up and trim these fingers here it looks like we need um, one one two three extra stones One, two, three, test fit them. That'll work. All right, I'm just leave that one there for a moment. Back. That one works there, good. One side done. And you can see how that just kind of cleaned up that edge nicely. We'll come out, come back and grout this in a little bit. Um, what I'd like to do is go get the other camera. I'm going to set it up right here. It'll be in the shot. I know you aren't supposed to do that, but that'll give you a good close up on how we uh, work on this side. Be right back. All right, let's uh, go ahead and work on this side. This side's going to be um, a little bit more work just because we're missing a few teeth and so forth. Uh, but still the same concept. I'd start with taking off just one course off the top here. rocks out of here and Alright, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and get some adhesive on here. Careful. 
carefully wiggle these back out. I'm on this joint right here. Good. Get flush. And it looks like we need one, two, three, four, or maybe a little one right up here. Now this next one right here is just a, uh, a broken half one, so I'm gonna put a half one in, in this spot. That's good. Oh, now we got two more right here. Okay, this one's all done. I decided that this little spot right here would be easier just to fill with some grout when we fill, put some grout in here and here. And I um, want to make sure this is the, the set of tiles that we want, uh, tile fingers we want flush with this. And we'll come back with a grinder and trim these uh, probably tomorrow. So that's that one. All right, well, we got five of the six portals installed. <laughs> About 95 degrees out here this afternoon. Not much of a breeze, really kind of hot. But uh, that stuff's kind of set up, so we're just gonna hit the grinder and uh, trim these little uh, fingers off, and then we'll be ready to grout. That's the final step on these. Good. 
Okay, we're on to the last step here. Just going to put some grout, fill in some of these uh, little spaces around here. A little grout on this edge here and here. And uh, hit the other ones. And should be able to call it a day after that. completed all of the tunnel portals up here at Tahoe Junction Station and the next step is to go ahead and backfill we'll move the boulders in we'll add some uh, drip irrigation and a couple of plants and this should uh, finish it off quite nicely uh, we'll probably do that uh, we won't do that for the next several weeks but uh, we just wanted to show you on how we built these uh, tunnel portals the uh, the top of the uh, of the grade with the, the dirt and the landscaping and so forth will be just below the uh, the height of the, the concrete curbing. So that will uh, shorten up these tunnels a, a little bit. And the next thing to do is uh, run some trains through here. What I'd like to next what I'd like to do is talk to you about two two other items. We have another type of tunnel portal that we've done. Uh, on the Alpine division and that is where we take we you find kind of a, a, a large um, flat rock that's maybe oh at least six inches but no more than a foot uh, thick and large enough to uh, be a, a tunnel portal and then we take a a concrete core drill and cut out a 12 inch hole into that rock. Then the tunnel that we use for that is actually a 12 inch uh, drainage pipe. And you can find these, you can buy them brand new, but you can also uh, find them that are sometimes damaged or usually pretty long and you don't need that whole length. So you can find them that they may be damaged uh, from at and sometimes the companies that sell these, Home Depot does uh, sell the um, other home improvements. Also uh, irrigation and plumbing companies, plumbing supply companies will sell them. And a lot of times they'll have some damaged ones and they will often give those to you or sell them to you for a few bucks. Um, construction sites will have them also that are left over and you can find them there. Or like I said, you can buy them brand new. These, the 12 inch diameters work nice. Um, so they have that nice curve and you just lay the track right down the center of them and it cradles the track and you can run a very long distance. We have uh, oh, quite a few of these of those types of tunnels and they are anywhere from uh, 20 to 50 feet long and we've never had any problems with derailments inside of those trains and because it's a pretty nice clean environment inside of those and the track stays nice and straight and if you do have a problem all that we do is um, one of two things the train can't fall over all the way on its side because of the curvature of the pipe so it just kind of is on an angle we take a, um, a long pole with a hook on the end of it and gently pull the train back out that way or if it's something very significant which we've only had once or twice in the 10 years of running trains for these tunnels we can very easily disconnect the track right at the entrance of the tunnel and pull the entire track and train out and then slide it back in and put it back together. Uh, but these are really kind of cool looking uh, tunnel portals and uh, they work great for very long straight shots uh, where you aren't going to have very good access to get to them from above. Like I said we've had, uh, they worked out great.
The other thing that I wanted to, to show you is another use for these uh, sheets of real stone tile. We've been uh, using them on our uh, stone bridges, viaducts, and it works out great. They last a long, long time, and they end up just giving you a beautiful uh, bridge or stone viaduct, and it goes together quite easily. You uh, build, build your bridge or whatever, and then just apply the stone just like we've done on the, the portals and the only other thing I think that we're going to do on these uh, large viaducts I'll show you in a moment is probably put a, um, a, a stone sealer some sort of sealant on them just to uh, give a little more protection on that so well I'm Holly McLean for Train Lee Tech TV and I hope that you've enjoyed this series on how to build tunnels and portals if you have any questions or comments Please contact me at Holly, H-A-W-L-E-Y, at TrainLee, T-R-A-I-N-L-I, dot com. Follow us on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to seeing you again on another series of TrainLee Tech TV. And thanks again for watching.